بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سالار خان یوٹیوب چینل ویئر ٹو ڈے آئی ڈو وٹ آئی جسٹ ٹرائی ٹو ریپ اپ دا ریمیننگ پورشن آف دا زینر ڈائی آؤٹ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی سو اباؤٹ دا انٹروڈکشن ٹو دا زینر ڈائی آؤٹ دی کنسٹرکشن دی ورکنگ پرنسپل وی آئی کیریکٹرسٹکس آئی بلیو آئی ہیو ڈلیورڈ سم تھنگ گڈ بیکاز دس واز ون آف دا چیلنجنگ ٹاپک فار می دا زینر ڈائی آؤٹ اوکے anyways but it looked very simpler right so i hope that you have understood it if yes you didn't do need to like the video and you can of course appreciate me in the comment section as well you don't like it you have any feedback the comment section is for you guys anyways so what did we saw in the zener diode that this is a heavily doped diode this is a heavily doped diode so what would you write the heavily doping what this is that if there if there, the, the whatever the junction so you have a p plus similarly you have an n plus over here so this represents the heavy doping in the normal diode i believe the p side is highly doped a little highly doped than the then the inside or inside is highly doped I, i believe i would have said it over there anyways over here this is a heavily doped diode similarly the vi characteristics or the iv characteristics were such the voltage across the diode the current through the diode have a look a reverse leakage current and then a an avalanche of current so this is the zener voltage now whatever be the value of current the voltage across it would remain the same and it would be represented in the reverse bias region with that the symbol the symbol of the diode is like this the p n junction diode is like this the same p n junction diode symbol but the thing is that you have an arrow representing something like a z maybe you have this thing this is what is the change this is what is the change in the circuit the equivalent model so you have three modes of operation of the zener diode modes of operation or or the three modes not of operation the only the mode of operation is only one but three regions of operations you could say so the first is when it is forward biased so when it is forward biased you know very well that when the voltage would be greater than the barrier potential of it so you would have a you would have this in the on state which means that if i represent it over here if this is my barrier potential so if this is greater than this you have a, a huge current flowing right yes the second one is when this is reverse biased and and the voltage across it is less than the zener potential so if this is less than the zener potential have a look the diode is in the off state which means you only have a reverse saturation current reverse saturation current or the leakage current or the knee current or we have multiple names for this the third would be what the third would be reverse bias state but the voltage across it is greater than the zener potential of the diode so over here this diode would be on and a current would flow through it that is iz iz current would flow through it that could be anything and the voltage across this would be vz right yes now if you talk about the equivalent models so have a look if the slope is non linear the slope is uh, the slope is uh, you know not a horizontal one not a 90 degrees so which means that it has got some resistance so you have the diode resistance as well that would be rz right so first of all if you talk about the forward bias region so we are we are also talking about the equivalent circuits the equivalent circuits so in the first case when you have the diode is forward biased and it is on so if you have the resistance of the diode included this would be the case like this that this is connected to the plus side this is connected to the negative side so what do you have you would have the resistance of the diode you would have a plus to plus and minus to minus so this is what would be this is the barrier potential and this is the rz right yes or if you are considering the i the the other model this was the piece wise linear model if you are considering the ideal model no sorry the, the constant voltage drop model so you only have the barrier potential or if you are considering the the ideal model so you only have a short circuit this is for the first case for the second case when it is reverse biased the voltage is less than vz which means what that you have you are 
n connected to plus side minus this side so what do you have with this would be off and when this is off this means that this resistance is quite large you could just simply say this is an open circuit equivalent isn't it like this it is now similarly again over here the third case for the third case what would be the case again this is reverse biased but this time you know what the changes are so in this case you would represent it by the by the uh, uh, the resistance of the zero diode and have a look minus to plus so this would be as a plus to minus over here right yes yes so you would have to replace it over here by a plus to minus voltage source this is a vz this is the zener potential overall this is connected across minus to plus n to p right or you could just just replace it by the zener potential have a look the connections are n to p n to p n to p is positive to negative okay yes yes if you don't understand it like this if you don't understand like this so have a look you can you can see from here that if this is the diode configuration if vertically so vertically people just understand it greater plus minus for instance so this would be the same as like this minus to plus right yes okay now the slope the slope is equal to 1 over rz the slope of this slope is equal to 1 over rz why because slope is equal to y over x so y over x is i over v is 1 over rz which means you have the value of the resistance which means that you have the value of the resistance uh, n to p is plus to minus right n to p is plus to minus n to p is plus to minus yes 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 fine yes it's fine so uh, what do we have what do we have do i have anything else to tell you so i believe that i have so if talking about the resistance of the diode so this is you know the resistance of the diode you can calculate it over here by the change in voltage change in current so you have a look you have a very small change in the voltage have a look for instance say for this current for this current you have this voltage but if you see for this current so for this current you have this voltage so a very high change in the current and a very low change in the voltage so that's why if you assume the the the, the resistance of the diode to be zero for instance you consider this line to be completely vertical like this after the zener potential so what would be the case that in that case the slope would be infinity and rz that would be one over infinity would be zero so you would have no no what no uh, uh, no resistance of the diode right yes similarly you have another factor that is the power dissipation the power dissipation so power dissipation this is you know very well this will be current times v so p is equal to v times i and this we are talking about the vz times iz because of the zero diode and if you talk about the maximum power dissipation if you talk about the maximum power dissipation so that would be p maximum and that would depend on the value of iz maximum because vz would be a fixed quantity right and similarly this maximum power this is the maximum power dissipation this is equal to the minimum power rating of a device this is equal to minimum power rating of the device why because you have to keep the rating as such that it allows at least the maximum dissipation right yes so you don't have to confuse it the minimum power rating is the maximum power dissipation right and that is vz times iz maximum for instance sometimes the examiner confuses you and he gives you the minimum power rating so you go for the minimum zener current as well which is wrong we'll see in the upcoming voltage regulation videos right yes so this is for and i uh, this you could see you could have this model as well so you can include iz rz over here as well whatever is the thing that you can do that you can do vz is equal to vz k plus the iz rz and this is something that you can do by yourself 
the the background the v across is it almost constant current could be anything right and this is the polarity would be n to p right and the zener potential of course you know vz is inversely proportional to the doping concentration that you know very well again that the vz is inversely proportional to the doping concentration so higher you are doping the lesser would be the uh, z, the breakdown potential in this case it's called the zener potential you see from you saw from the previous video that the breakdown potential in a normal period junction diode was greater why because the doping level was less in that case right so breakdown voltage is a property of the reverse bias yes yes so i hope i hope that we are clear and i have just one more thing to tell you the temperature effects on the zener voltage the temperature effects on the zener voltage so just let's quickly go to this the temperature effects on the zener voltage so we are given a formula in terms of the temperature coefficient of a device now you, you you must more probably be knowing it better than me what is the temperature coefficient i don't know it right yes because this is not my topic over here so the breakdown voltage of a zener diode is very sensitive to the temperature of operation if we change the temperature the breakdown voltage would change so tc is equal to the change of the change of vz upon vz and divided by T1 minus T0 and multiplied by 100% per degree centigrade. Now, what do we mean by this? So, let us get into the meaning of this. This Tc is what? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Tc is the temperature coefficient of the device. Tc is the temperature coefficient. All right, the, so let me take the book. T1 is the new temperature level. T1 is the new temperature, of course. You have T0, which is the room temperature or the, or the original temperature, room temperature, for instance, which was a 25 degree centigrade. Let's say, suppose Vz is the nominal Zener potential. Of, so Vz is the nominal Zener potential that is at 25 degrees yes so let us take an example analyze the 10 volt zener diode so it's referring to a figure so we'll take a simpler example over here if the change of voltage is unknown the new zener potential is unknown for an original vz is equal to 10 volts let's say for example for example vz is 10 volts right you have t1 is 100 degrees the temperature of a diode is raised to 100 degrees the original was 10 volts and the temperature coefficient of that device is given which is 0.072 percent percent per degree rise per degree centigrade so the thing is that that you don't have to go anything into the detail over here we are not interested in the temperature coefficient of the device it would be given anyway so have a look from the formula uh, you can just uh, do it this would be tc times uh, t1 minus t0 is equal to uh, divided by 100 percent and this would be equal to what change of vz into vz so vz would come over here so putting the values vz is equal to what vz is 10 tc is 0.072 t1 minus t0 is 75 and divided by 100 percent so for 100 percent what have they done 100 percent is again 1 over 100 the same thing so the change of vz would come out to be what the change of vz would come out to be 0.54 volts 0.54 volts so by this much the zener potential will now change which means that the new zener potential the new zener potential would be what the new zener potential would be let's say for instance vz dash this would be equal to the original vz plus the change of vz so that would be equal to 10.54 volt so have a look we've got some effect which means if the temperature was raised the zener effect has all the zener potential has also uh, raised
you can think about the reasons majority charge carriers minority charge carriers let's not go into the detail of it so that is all about this video that is all about the zener diode and most probably that's all about diodes as well in the next video we see the application of this we see the voltage regulation in the zener diodes and after that we will be done so that is it i believe i'm a little tired as well and i'm in a hurry i have to go to attend my class today is a very strange class i would say it's the 25th of december kaide azam day christmas day for many of you and the uh, thing is that it's a public holiday in the country but we have a class so anyways that's not a problem till the next video take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye